Well, in the United States, the only form of specific allergen immunotherapy available is called subcutaneous immunotherapy. A common lay term or, or term that's used for it is allergy shots. Now, outside of the United States, there are different forms of immunotherapy, and a popular form is called sublingual immunotherapy, and that's where drops or tablets are administered underneath the tongue. Let's just say I evaluated a patient and we're sitting down and discussing treatment options. I talk about avoidance measures, I talk about medications, and I talk about allergen immunotherapy. I also explain that it's more commonly sometimes called shots, so they can kind of click um, and then I explained that it is the only a treatment that we have that will actually try to get at the underlying cause. I use the phrase not masking symptoms because sometimes medicate, uh, excuse me, sometimes patients use the phrase masking symptoms when they're talking about allergy medications. I explained to them that it's a process for which we give increasing amounts of the things that they're allergic to and we inject it into the fatty part of their arm over a period of time shooting for a target dose and once we get at that target dose we take them out to monthly maintenance and then they're on a maintenance treatment for three to five years. What we do see is significant reductions in symptoms when exposed to the things they're allergic to, significant reduction in the need for medications. We've seen this treatment can prevent the development of asthma in patients that only have you know allergic rhinitis, hay fever, uh, I've seen examples of like patients who are very allergic to cat, they can spend five minutes in a room with a cat before they're wheezing, coughing, sneezing. They go on allergen immunotherapy, they're spending the night not having a problem. Is that a cure? I don't know, that's pretty close, right? <laughs>